Somebody jump up and check the cloud cover out there. This doesn't make any sense. Greetings, my friends, and welcome back. Rush Limbaugh and the Excellence in Broadcasting Network, the nation's most listened to radio talk show, the the most talked about radio talk show, the talk show that blew up the drive-by media news monopoly starting in 1988. You know, somebody asked me the other day, and these kind of questions make me nervous. I don't quite, ah, the screensaver again. Hang on just a second. I'm sorry to be so distracted by this, but I've got... Hey, DirecTV, I love you. I really do. But could you fix it so the screensaver doesn't activate every 20 minutes? Now what? Oh, well. Some kind of signal. Anyway, somebody asked me the other day, have you ever thought about what would happen? It was the old, it's the old, it's a wonderful life question. Remember Clarence, the the, the 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 angel was telling George Bailey, you know, how the town would be different if he'd never been born. Do you ever stop to think what might not have happened if you hadn't started your show in 1988? And I said, I've never thought about it because I did start my show in 1988. And I don't do if. You know, if is for children. A great line in a song by Roger Whitaker. I don't believe in if anymore. Because if is for children. But I don't think about it. I mean, it, it, it. At some point, the monopoly would be busted up. You don't think so? Snurdly is adamantly saying, nope, no way. Well, doesn't matter. It was busted up. And they are fit to be tied. Oh, come on. Trump wouldn't been elected. Come on. Well, okay, 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 okay. That maybe we wouldn't have had the Congress in 94. Maybe that, but this other stuff, you're going a bit far. 